Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan Valentine and happy Halloween! I am so excited about Halloween. It's been a very productive month for me. I've done so much video work. I will start uploading one video every Wednesday from today, so I'm very, very excited. So today we will be doing my October favorites. I have a few items to show you that I really enjoyed during this spooky, happy month. Not all of them ended up actually spooky, but... I think I have managed to find a good selection of things to share with you. So without further ado, let's have a look at the things that I love the most during the month of October. Okay, the first things we're going to talk about are a couple of tea flavors. Now, I'm a very, very big tea fanatic. I have a lot of tea in my house. And these two teas that have been my favorite, favorite, favorite thing for this month are both from the new flavors that Wittard has launched this autumn. So the first one is the pumpkin spice oolong tea. Now, I always wondered how come there is no pumpkin spice tea anywhere in the UK around Halloween season. And I was walking into Wittard and I saw a small candy with nice artwork that looked a bit Christmassy and festive. And I was like, oh, what is this? And I thought, Wait, pumpkin spice? <laughs> what? It was like about that big, this caddy. And I went up to the girl that works in the store and I said, do you have this in any bigger container? <laughs> because I think I want a lot of this. And she said, oh, you haven't seen. You can actually try it. We have it there in a teapot. And I was like, oh, great, give me some. And I tried like a little sippy cup of it and it was amazing. And I was like, bring me the biggest size. I absolutely adore this tea. I've been having it every single morning for this whole month. It has all the pumpkin spices, but like whole pieces of each spice. It has cinnamon and ginger and pumpkin pieces and little caramel pieces that make it amazing, like so warm and desserty. Moving on to the next flavor, which is actually a Halloween special and it is the chocolate popcorn green tea guys this is green tea and it's chocolate flavored i have only had chocolate flavored teas from t2 and they're all either white or black tea i have never tried green tea and let me tell you this is amazing it is a blend of green tea with toasted rice coated in matcha and cocoa powder. It has cocoa pieces in it and also coconut. This is so amazing. It's like I'm having a piece of cake. Generally for me, tea is this kind of way for me to feel I'm having a treat without actually having sweets. I especially like to express my seasonal mood by finding tea that is appropriate for each time of the year in my head. So these two flavors have been the best gift I could have for Halloween this year, literally. Okay, let's move on from the tea. Next, I have a beauty favorite. And I've had this palette since last Christmas, but this month I especially found myself reaching out for it to try different makeup looks inspired by the season. It is the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. I think the packaging really inspires me to use this around the season. I have other very gothy looking palettes or very kawaii looking palettes and I think this is the only one that is kind of like golden and brown and has this color scheme that really matches autumn. And the colors in this palette are, ah, uh, I'm sure you've seen one of those before, but I think the colors are kind of like the perfect mixture between pastel and dark and the matte shades are really pigmented. It has a beautiful orange, it has a beautiful gold and brown and this kind of mustard color that's called mustard. And I think that all of these are absolutely great for autumn looks. This shade called Boot is like my go-to kind of dark shade for the sides of the eye for every look that I do with this palette. So I think it's really handy and really appropriate for the season. So I've been using it a lot. And next up we have some books and it's actually a book series, but only the first two books have been out so far. And one of them came out at the start of this month. 
So I'm talking about the Rosewood Chronicles book series created by one of my actually favorite YouTubers and pies, Connie Glynn. And as I mentioned, this series has two books out already. The first one is uh, Undercover Princess and this came out last year, but I only managed to get a hold of it and started this September. And I fell in love with the story and the characters. I find it has a lot of influences from anime as well. There's kind of a revolutionary girl Utena vibe and a Nana vibe about it and some Harry Potter influences but it's all completely like original and the setting is really beautiful and girly which I'm not always very girly about things but I do enjoy some nice fiction so I think that this ticks all the boxes for me and it makes me feel very you know like romantic and cozy and this is exactly why we like this season because it's cozy and everything so yeah the first book that i finished in like less than two weeks is called undercover princess and the second book that came out this month is princess in practice i really like this version with the hardcover. I only managed to find Undercover Princess in paperback at this stage, but I got this book a couple of days after it was out. It has a Halloween chapter in it as well, which I really liked. Uh, there is kind of mystery and teenage drama, and of course princesses. Who doesn't like a bit of princesses? And this also happens to be a signed copy, which I found in my local water zones, and I'm really, really happy that I did. Thank you, Connie Senpai. So yeah, I've been fangirling over these the last one month and I don't want to finish this because I don't know when the next one is going to be out. So I hope it comes out soon. And another bonus for why this is a very lovely choice of book for this season for me is that one of the main characters' names is Lottie Pumpkin. How cute is that? <laughs> so next item is a fashion one and I've had this for quite a while as well. It is this swimmer's Horror Night Coffin Bag in black. I've had this since 2016. This bag has actually been one of the first items I bought when I went to Japan. I got this from Sunshine City Ikebukuro. It was the first really big mall that we visited the day we arrived in Tokyo. So I wasn't even sure if it was a good idea to purchase this or not because I was super jet lagged. It was the Halloween season, so I thought I'm gonna find as much Halloween themed Japanese fashion items as possible to get. And then at the time Swimmer had this bag newly released, I believe, along with a bat bag and I saw them both and I was like, oh my God. So I chose a coffin as it's a novelty kind of bag. I usually wear it when I wear my Lolita dresses or when I'm going out in the evening. But for some reason this month I've been taking it around all the time. It's really handy because it's small. So you can hold it like this from these handles there. But it also has a strap which is detachable. So you can take it off and either hold it like this or wear it around your shoulders with a strap. It's black and it has the word nightmare embroidered. It's basically my favorite kind of gothy colored scheme because it has the cream cross and frame around the coffin and then there is a heart in the middle of the cross with swimmer's logo in the middle and a purple rhinestone and then there's golden stitching all over it the zipper is gold and the buckles here are gold so i really love this black and gold my favorite goth combo yeah so this has been used a lot this month so next we're going to do a couple of anime favorites again and speaking of things that came out in 2016 the first anime that i've been really enjoying is a very cute feel-good anime called flying witch i don't know if you have heard of it it's very relaxed and nice and i watch it in the mornings and it has witches in it it's been a lovely company for my mornings it has some very very weird and funny bits as well that you won't expect from watching a really cute and fluffy show <laughs> and the next two shows are actually brand new and they came out this season so i've only really watched about around three episodes of each but i am very invested in them so i'm really looking forward to see what's going to happen next and the first one is also a show that has to do with witches 
and it's called Irozuku Sakai no Ashitakara. It's about a girl that grows up in a witch family and she loses her ability to see color in a very young age. So she sees everything in black and white. So her grandma, who is a powerful witch, decides to send her back to the past when her grandma was a teenager so she can meet some new people and interact with them and I'm guessing this is going to kind of teach her a few things and help her out with her problem of seeing colors. I really like the way that witches are presented in this anime and I find the art very, very immersive. When there's color, they're amazing because they're trying to make this contrast between the girl's bleak view of the world in black and white and then the contrast of colors in this world and it's amazing, amazing art. So that is the second witchy anime that I've been watching. And the third anime is also kind of spooky and it is Zombieland Saga. This is another very entertaining show so far. It's about a bunch of girls that are zombies and there's a guy that's like an idol manager that wants to make them into the next big idol group and the style is really fun and over the top and cool and it has to do with music which also like always sells things to me very well because you know I identify with music related stories. I am supposed to be a musician after all. Ignore the fact that I'm trying to do YouTube videos that have nothing to do with it. I think this show is also really good commentary in the music industry as well. Like the way the guy treats the girls is ridiculous. It's very funny to watch in that premise, but I think it's meant as a more like serious connotation about how young girls are being treated in the music industry, which I really like. Alright, so that was it for my October favorites. Please stay tuned for more videos. As I said in the start of this video, I am going to be uploading every Wednesday now. So hopefully this will take this channel a bit further. I hope you will decide to stick around. So take care, have a lovely spooky time this Halloween and I will see you in my next video. Bye!